Hi guys, today we're going to go through some empirical and molecular mass problems. So a compound contains uh, carbon 62.08%, uh, hydrogen 10.34% and oxygen 27.58% by mass. Find the empirical formula and its molecular formula given that its relative molecular mass is uh, 58. So firstly what we're going to do is pretend that these percents are really uh, grams and we're going to work out well how many moles would we have uh, of uh, each uh, element, hydrogen, uh, carbon and oxygen. So let's have a look. So we've got 62.08 divided by 12. Okay, so that's going to tell us 62.08 divided by 12 uh, and we get uh, 5. 173 makes up hydrogen which 10.34 divided by 1 well that's just equal to 10.34 and lastly oxygen 27.58 divided by uh, 16 okay to 27.58 divided by 16 that gives us 1.8 uh, seven uh, two three so we had this was carbon this is hydrogen this is oxygen now let's have a look uh, let's divide by the smallest number which would be oxygen so uh, let me just get a different color pen so let's divide this one this one and this one in fact I'm just going to do this over here so uh, we've got five point one seven three uh, <clears throat> 10.34, <coughs> excuse me guys, uh, and then 1.723, uh, divide each one by the smallest number, so 1.723, well that's 1, 1.723, and then also divide this by 1.723, let's make that a 5, so let's have a look, so 10.34 divided by 1.723 uh, gives us 6. So that's for the hydrogen, this is for the oxygen, this is for the carbon. Okay, let's have a look at the carbon now. So 5.173 divided by 1.723 uh, and we get 3. So our empirical formula is C3H6. O. Okay, now let's have a look. How many times will this go into our uh, relative molecular mass? Well, that's uh, sorry, 3 times by 12 uh, plus 6 plus uh, 16. So 3 times by 12 plus 6 uh, plus 16. Okay, that also gives us 58. So it looks like our answer, uh, C3H6O, is the empirical formula and also the molecular formula. Find the empirical formula of the compound containing 22.02% uh, of carbon, 4.59% of hydrogen, and 73.39% uh, uh, by mass of bromine. Okay, so firstly, we're going to pretend again that these percents are grams and then work out how many moles we've got uh, of each element. So let's start off with carbon. So we've got 22.02 .02 divided by 12. That's going to be for carbon. Then hydrogen is 4.59 divided by 1. Well, that's easy. 4.59. And then we're going to do bromine 73.2. 39 divided by uh, 80. Okay, so let's have a look. So 22.02 .02 divided by 12, uh, we get 1.835. And for the bromine, 37.39 divided by 80, we get uh, 0 0.917. So this is bromine. This is the hydrogen and this was the carbon. 
So let me just put them over here, and we're going to divide by the smallest, which in this case is the bromine. So 0 0.917 Br divided by 0 0.917 gives us 1. Uh, the hydrogen, so 4.59 divided by 0 0.917. Let's have a look. 4.59 divided by 0 0.917 and we get a 5. So that's for the hydrogen. And then finally, the carbon, uh, I'm just going to have to do down here, 1835 divided by 0 0.917. 0 0.835 And we get 2 here. Okay, so that was for carbon. So let's have a look. So we've got C two H five B R. That is our final answer. A compound contains eighty five point seven one percent of carbon and fourteen point two nine percent of hydrogen, and it's got a relative molecular mass of fifty six. Find the molecular formula. So again, exactly the same technique. Uh, convert, your, convert your percentages into grams and then work out the number of moles. 85.71 divided by 12 and 14.29 divided by 1. Well, the, the hydrogen is easy. Let me just put the rest of the other one in the calculator for the carbon. 85.71 divided by 12. We get uh, 7.1425. So uh, carbon is 7, 1, 4, 2, 5, okay, and we've got hydrogen, which is 14.29, okay, divide by the smallest, well, that's the uh, carbon, kind of going to run out of room here, so that's definitely a 1 there, okay, so 14, 0.29 divided by 7.1425 we get 2 so our ratio or the uh, empirical formula is CH2 this is 12 this is 2 add them together and we get 14 now we're told the molecular mass is 56 so how many times is the empirical formula mass go into the molecular mass 56 divided by 14 okay 56 divided by 14 is 4 okay so our final formula would be C 4 at H 8 that's the final answer a compound contains 84.21% of carbon and 15.79% of hydrogen by mass. What's the it has a relative molecular mass of 114. Find the molecular mass. Okay, so same as always. Find out how many moles you've got first. 15.79. Okay, divided by 1. 15.79. Okay, let's do the carbon. 84.21 divided by 12 and we get 7.0175 so carbon here hydrogen here so 7.0175 and here we've got 15.79 0175 okay it's going to be a 1 and then this is going to be 7.0175 here. So 15.79 divided by 7.0175. Uh, we get 2.25. Okay. So it's got a mol uh, relative molecular mass of 114. So... Uh, So we've got one carbon, that's 12, uh, and we've got this unusual thing here, so we've got two and a quarter of uh, hydrogen, so plus 2.25 gives us uh, 
14.25 so 114 divided by 14.25 uh, we get 8 so that's going to give us C8 and then 8 times by 2.25 for the hydrogen is 18 so we've got C8 H 18 that is our final answer. The analysis of a hydrocarbon showed that it had uh, 7.8 grams of the hydrocarbon contained 0 0.6 grams of hydrogen and that the relative molecular mass was 78. Find the molecular formula of the hydrocarbon. So if we've got uh, 0 0.6 grams of hydrogen, the rest is carbon, so that's 7.8 minus 0 0.6, which is 7.2 grams. Make that better G. So 7.2 divided by 12, and we've got 0 0.6 divided by 1, which is 0 0.6 for the hydrogen. So 7.2 divided by 12 is 0 0.6. So our ratio is obviously going to be a 1 to 1, because 0 0.6 for carbon, 0 0.6 for hydrogen. Divide both sides by the smallest number, which happens to be the same number. Although that's looking like a, uh, there's a zero. That's a one. That's a one. So it's going to be a one to one ratio. Now the molecular mass is 78. Okay, so that's 12 carbon plus one uh, is 13. So 78 divided by 13. How many times will that go? Uh, six. So it's going to be uh, C6. H6. There we go. Okay, last question. 3.36 grams of iron joined with 1.44 grams of oxygen uh, in an oxide of iron. What's the empirical formula of the oxide? Well, again, we want to know how many moles have we got. So, uh, for the iron, molar mass of iron is 56. 1.44 divided by 16, because that's the molar mass of oxygen. So, one point sorry three point three six divided by fifty six is zero point zero six. Uh, one point four four divided by sixteen is zero point zero nine. Okay, so that's for oxygen, that's for iron. So let's have a play with this. Uh, so it's zero point zero six, zero point zero nine. Divide by the smallest number, uh, and we're going to get a uh, uh, 1, 2, 0 0.09 divided by 0, oops, 0 0.6 uh, is to 1.5. Well, that's not a nice ratio, so let's double both sides. So this is going to give us a 2 to 3. This is going to be Fe2O3, which is iron oxide.